10 for sales, my husband and Rick, and this is our 13th webinar. So it's lucky 13. <laughs> We're really happy to see you. And uh, um, my husband, Rick, is the healer. He has uh, creator energy. He merged with uh, creator energy. And uh, I am the one that can, I can't even talk. Forget it. You do it, So I, basically <laughs> I scan somebody and Deb will start getting the messages of what's wrong with the person, if anything and past lives and angels and guides um, but I don't, I don't think we're going to do that the angels no. and guides it's going to be too long we won't have too, the, the uh, time to do that yeah. but so the healing energy comes from me and Deb gets the message of what what's going on I can actually see inside your yeah. body yeah. all right Phil Phil take it away my, my turn <laughs> okay uh, yep so I've been a public bar I've been here less since I was four year old uh, connected to me angelic side at a very early age. Uh, connected to a lot of aspects. It's good to connect to aspects because of knowledge. Because basically, if you look at it on Google, you're just not sure if it's correct or not. Uh, recently, I've been connected to my highest uh, aspect, which is a crystal source being. But I always think we, we are all aspects of the source anyway. That's my own feelings. Uh, so hopefully we can either do some healing on you if there's anything that's wrong with you like entities or anything like that we can still remove them and uh, I've got an angelic card if you want me to pick one okay and right. just, so yeah, just, just one thing when you haven't done it for six or seven weeks it's quite difficult <laughs> to get into it again yeah. okay first one up is going to be Terrell, Terrell, am I saying that correctly? Yes, you are. That's okay. correct. Very good. Okay, I have, I have a back problem for at least fifteen years that travels into my legs and arms. Please, can I have some healing? All right, Terrell. Uh, have you got any history on that? How, how did you get it, Terrell? no idea how it came on it just came on it it started um tingling in my hands and then all of a sudden moved into my back i've been seeing chiropaths osteopaths i've been around the world i spent fifty thousand on my health wow just keep moving from what i still have osteo once a week just so that i can function at the time when you first noticed your back injury was there anything like emotional like Mm -hmm. I have a stomach. It began with like indigestion, IBS, stomach issues, and then I don't know if there's any connection between the two, but yeah, and then it it went into my. I, I I can say it might be something to do with my childhood and emotions because I've, I've had a very hard childhood. So okay. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to release your childhood? I am trying. Like in a child healing, galactic healing. I, in the last two years, I've been doing all these things, um, but not gone yet. Mm -hmm. uh, have you? Is there anybody you don't like from your childhood that you still don't like? Um, there's no one that I don't like. However, um, my, I, I, it's with my dad. It's like. I've forgiven him, but the pain is still kind of there. I haven't let go of it completely. I have a lot more last two years since I've been doing these releasing and meditation, but I can't say 100%. It is still there a little bit. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't scanned you or anything. So is your dad still here? Yes, I live with him. Have you ever told him you, you apologize no. to him? Do that? No. Just say, I'm not bothered what you say, but for all everything when I was a child, if there's any heartache, I forgive you. I also forgive myself for hanging on to it for all these years, because you've, you, if you've handled that, what happens is this could have manifested into your back, and every time you think of negative thoughts, you're creating some sort of, uh, like a, your own sort of darkness on your back. So I would, I would try and just say well, I forgive you. Look, he 
an alcoholic, so it's very difficult to communicate with him mm. on yeah. Him. But do it to him. If you tell it, if you tell him, you know, I, you know, I'm, I forgive you how you are. Doesn't even, he doesn't even have to register it. You've released it. You've you've shared it with us anyway. You've shared it with us anyway, which is great. Uh, Also, you're doing inner chat, so you're actually going back to your childhood and telling your your child within that you you're going you're going to be okay when you're older. You don't have to hold on to this. You've done all that. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Shall we do the healing then? Just your back. Yeah. Do, you, do you have a lot of stress, by the way, in your job? Or do you have any stresses yeah. in your life? A lot. A lot of right. stress at work, at home, everywhere I go. Hmm. So what what can happen is if your stress is kept in your brain, it overflows, it leaks into your weak point, in your back. So the more stress you have the more your head fills up more pain so you need to find a way of releasing it uh, you could hug a tree you could do a lot of grounding meditation that sort of thing but you need to get release it if you hold on to it you'll get more back pain more back pain and you could get arthritis as well right so what happens is the osteo aligns me and then it moves it again right. if it just be all right but it just keeps going back out yeah, what happens is all the, all the stress comes in, you fix, yeah. your stress comes yeah. back in, it feeds it again, it's back to normal. So I'll, I'll try and stop that if I can. So if you just close your eyes, okay. Phil? Okay. Yeah? Do you see something in the middle of her back where there's a big bulge? Oh yeah, I've not gone to that. All right, do you feel anything in your back? I'm feeling like tingling in my hands. Yeah, that's good. Bit of heat, I think, in my spine, a little bit. Hmm. Do you do anything spiritual? Yeah, quite a lot. What I'm getting is this is actually connected to a ship, but it's not a, a bad thing, if you know what I mean, but the problem is it's creating the pain. It's connected to what, sorry? Like a ship, <laughs> if you accept that. <laughs> no, I think it I think it's been removed now. I can remove it. I can remove it now. Yeah. I've turned it off, sorry. I've I've removed the part of it, not the lot in the back. You may feel some vibration or heat where I'm removing this now. Okay. Okay, it's gone. Your back is repaired. How see your tingling? Yeah. It's stopped in my hands now. How's your back feel? Feels okay at the moment. I've had a massage today as well. You back should and feel fine. Yeah. So it was, you know, we had a conversation yesterday and we spoke about soul contracts. So is this not to do with that? Oh, thank God. No. Right. Okay, so it should take time, right? It takes time to heal. This healing um, will continue for the next week, so you're going to be fine. So you had you. A, you had a, you had a device in there that was causing your pain, so it's gone now. Oh, okay. All these years of suffering. Wow. All right, then we're going on to Jackie. I believe is next. Healing for her niece Amy. Yes. Do you have a picture of her. I do, I do. Let me, but now getting, can you see okay? Yeah. Go ahead and do it again. Just speak. Is that better? Speak. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Why is that coming up? 
Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Yeah. Okay. This is Amy that you're seeing. Okay. Can you give me a little, some details or? Yes, right. I can. She yeah. tested positive for COVID and I do believe the test it was a true test because she did lose taste and smell. And Deb has removed blood clot, Deb and Rick have removed blood clots already. But she had to go back to the ER for um, because she can't breathe and they're saying worsening pneumonia and she has her liver enzymes are five times higher than they should be. We're in about day 20 in about day 20 of this disease process and um, treatment for her. She didn't get the treatment she needed in the beginning. Uh, you don't mind me asking, has she had the day? No, she has not. So it's just COVID? She's thinking about it, and I'm saying, please no, but um, she is thinking about it. Okay. But she is, she is, has not. Right. What I cannot tell you is if she's around people that have had it. Hmm. I don't know that answer. Is it 100% COVID then? Because it's certain things that are very similar, like radiation stuff like that. What I've heard. Well, she lost, the only thing I could go on is she lost her taste, she lost her smell, her ability to right. smell. That's what it's then she had the blood clots, and then she had the tiredness, and then she has difficulty breathing. Mm. I'm, getting, I'm getting anxiety um for some of this but i um does she have headaches she has not said that to me right okay do you want to just put the picture over again so i can oh yeah. it went away i'm sorry it's okay i can do it no wait i got it i got it She brings a lot of this on herself. Her, her environmental, her thoughts. What's environmental that's contributing? When she's at home. The more she thinks about it, the more she brings it to herself. I'm trying to, do you understand what I'm saying? I do. And I wrote to her this morning about the universe has no emotion it does not care it only reads what you put out and it gives you back what you put out and so she accepted that statement from me so it's like a constant with her and because I, I don't I'm physically I'm seeing that she's creating it she's frequently she, ill yes she is but she, but she brings it on. She brings it to herself. There's one thing that I'm confused, Deb. Uh, blood clots aren't really a sign of COVID. I've never read that before. What? Blood, 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 clot, blood clots tend to be the vaccine. I, I agree with you. I agree with yeah, you. But I, so actually removed, I actually removed the blood clots from her lungs, but she brought it on herself. She reads about yeah. something. She reads about it, and she and she materializes it in her body. Mm -hmm. I have done it, I, I have done healing on uh, people who have had COVID, and this is like not distance. This is real, and it tends to, it tends to affect the throat, uh, the throat. It really damages it. But I, I don't understand. Yeah, I removed. We removed the blood clots. They were there, but she is actually manifesting these things. Mm. She's been doing it her whole life. Oh boy. What she's known, what she's doing, she's not manifesting it. 
is taking on people's illness question. Is she, does yes. she work at, no, is she a nurse, did you say? She's a nurse, yes. She's yeah, retired she's... because she injured her, um, she lifted patients that were too heavy for her and she injured herself badly. When did she retire? Let's say 10 years ago. All oh, right, that's a while back. She said, I don't get the blood clots. Blood clots are nothing to do with COVID. I, unless someone says otherwise, I've never read that in my life. Mm. I agree. And I've studied it for years. About two years, I have studied it big time. The only thing with the blood clots is the vaccine. Mm -hmm. You don't know, like a white lie. Anything is possible, Phil. I don't know. I. She. Yes, I would say she would know that I would be disappointed if she had mm. taken it. She would well, know I, that. I've given us crystal source energy because I had the feeling that there was darkness around her. And that's, to me, it's part of the ingredient. So uh, I've tried to transmute the negative part of it. And just let us know how that goes. Do you want a card even though I cheat? <laughs> Yes, a card. Yes, please. Her, see, card see, for her, card for me. Which is it? You can have a card first. I'll have the card, yes. Yeah. Are you shuffling? Yeah. Stop. Okay. Trust. Trust. She's a bit. <laughs> yeah. Trust, it, normally it's like the opposite. It means you're having difficulty in your beliefs and you've just got to trust your in, intuition. Does that go? Working on it, working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> working on, on it. Boy, is that a perfect card though for you. <laughs> Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I'm, glad you, uh, I'm, I'm glad you know that. She'd probably deny it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Tell us okay. when for your sister. So just think of your sister. It's my niece. Then, it's my niece. niece. Sorry, your niece. Yeah. Um, now. Chills going down my legs. So now, yes. I got it. As you said now. And it's uh, focus. Okay. Focus. Okay. Focus. Don't these cards. Focus. No. Change her focus. No, it's just focus. It's basically check your thoughts. Uh, check your thoughts on your journey. Is she, she's not spiritual, is she really? Is she? No. No. She's um, very church indoctrinated. Yeah. So it's saying check your thoughts. So check check what you're doing for your journey. So that makes sense. It does. It does. Yeah. But no, okay. normally, normally when they doctrine, it's very hard to change. Yes. Yes. She's firm in that, so. Right. Do what can do. Thank you so much, both, uh, all three. Yeah, keep, keep us informed because uh, I have done the healing. The healing to do a lot and not very similar because crystal source is an healing. It rebuilds the cells. And if she's got blood clots, she needs the cells repairing, if you know what I mean. Because the, the blood's sticking together and so the blood clot. Yes, and the pneumonia, and and the the liver the liver enzymes are just off the charts. You know, it it, re it really does sound what I've read. It sounds right for me, to be honest. What I've said, what I've read, I've read a lot on it, and it just it sounds, sounds like nice. the V. You said the V. Yeah, I don't <laughs> say the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, <laughs> uh, that that'll be a difficult conversation. I'll handle. I'll tread lightly and see what I can do yeah. as far as conversation and um, 
Okay. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye. Next is, uh, it says, uh, love is good energy to everyone. Request healing for Mother Earth, air, water, soil, minerals, and nutrients. Hello, and then further on down, I've got a sort of a chemical imbalance or something. I'm not able to get my body to uh, handle certain foods, or foods are okay, it's the, the weight and um, the stresses. I actually do seeing and I work with healers and I can see where they can work. So, but you know how it is, just you heal thyself, I'm not able to see what's going on with me. Okay, we need, to we need to see you in order to, to um, heal. So we well, I'm not one of the pretty people, so get ready. We all, we all are. We, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, so, God. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I need dental work and all kinds of stuff, but thank you. What, what, sort of, sort of, yeah, what, what sort of foods that you can't have? Uh, dairy, uh, dairy, and then I've got to be careful with the chemicals getting in my food. Okay. Hmm. I do a lot of water filtration and things to try to keep stuff out. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I've got some liver going on. I can't tell for sure. But I know my metabolism is way off. We, we, yeah, we, know, we all know that most of the food we have has been contaminated a bit. We know that. <laughs> Uh, and the water we have and stuff like that. So what you can't so you need healing. Yes, if you if you ever want to self heal, a, a little tip. Uh, go in a sacred place. I, I was saying this like this morning on that the event with uh, uh, with Leslie. And this is for everyone. This is for everyone. Go in a sacred place and merge with your highest aspect by intent. Just close your eyes and merge with your highest aspect. Now, only for ten, five or 10 minutes, yeah? Some of you will know who your highest, highest aspect is, some of you won't. But because of the high vibration, they, they like create an awakening. It's like a, a cheat for awakening. And that will you might have backache, you might have uh, shoulder ache, uh, you might even go off more food, but it'll lift your vibration. And that's like self-healing anyway. So that's a little tip. It's not uh, hard to do. Go, do. Do the deep breathing first. Your breathing mm -hmm. is very important. In through your nose, out through your mouth, slowly releasing all the air, picturing that breath going into the, out in, through your feet into the earth but do that slowly so that you're just releasing all of your busy mind your monkey brain and and when you when you want to join with your higher aspect your higher self just let your higher self know i'm ready to receive so you're connecting you're never not connected what you're doing is just you know you're telling yourself your yourself that you're connecting that's all. It's not hard. It, it, people make it very difficult. That's all he's saying is connect. I'm ready to receive. So you're acknowledging. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Okay, it's all good. Is your name love or good or energy? <laughs> I'll call it love. What actually is wrong? With, what, what do you need healing? I haven't scanned you anything in it. I don't, I'd rather not. Hmm? You'd rather not scan? Is that what you said? Yeah, but where, where do you need healing? Uh, metabolism as much as anything, because uh, I know I have, I've had sugar issues, um, the opposite of a diabetic. Hmm. Okay. And uh, another, I know there's pancreatic cancer who's running the family and things. Another way of doing it, a little tip, your brain's a program, it's a computer. Sometimes your subcon you, you yourself have got to take over it and tell the brain it's not working correctly, this is what I want you to do, yeah? I, I started it when I was about 14, and it, once you run your brain, instead of your brain on automatic pilot, you can sort all, all your problems out yourself, but I'll, I'll do healing anyway, yeah. And I, and I tell you what, when you do end up controlling your brain, you can feel it, yeah? Uh, let's see. The other thing I think is it could be the chemtrails as well, but that's my little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I work with those too. 
Yeah. We try to make sure the equipment gets neutralized so it, they can't work the thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually have borax for the chemtrails, but uh, I'm not advising anyone for that because I'm not a medical person. <laughs> so just close your eyes, let's get our, our, our arts together and let's see what I can do. Yeah, see if you can feel it. Thank you. She has a cyst on her pancreas. Removing the cyst now. Thank you. You also have a um, looks like a bruise on the liver. It's a the dark spot. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's a bruise or if it's stuff built up there. What do you think it is, love? I'm not sure. I'm not it's sure. okay, but it's um, it's we're, we're clearing it. Thank you. We also have um, a spot in your lung that's being removed. Oh, that reminds me, I did have muriatic poisoning. I breathed in muriatic acid that birthed the throat and esophagus and messed up my lungs. Yeah, um, we're clearing that up. Oh, yay, thank you. I'd forgotten about that, I just live with it. Oh, wow. You feel it? I feel something shifting in my throat. Yes. There's a, an energy going through. It's I almost like, you know. a, like a little vortex that's like rushing the clean the area. Gently. Opening up from your, your throat down into your esophagus and into your lungs. Opening up and clearing it. Oh my gosh, I can take a breath from the upper chest for the first time and since yeah. I was like 23 years old. Oh my. I accept this healing now. Now we're going to your heart. And your, the artery around arteries, arteries around your heart. You have um, the timing. Your timing on your heart is off. You have a little blockage. It's being cleared. It, yeah, it's taking a lot of energy off us. I try to clear myself, but there's so many energies I work with. I probably get piled on. You do a lot of grounding after you heal people. I try, yes. I do my grounding. I run my etheric and physical energy. I try to keep my crown set to gold. Stay in neutrality and stay out of people's space. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll give you a good grounding technique that I would. A different one, not the true one, I think. Okay. Now going to the outside and clearing the outer bodies, sealing those. I'm so tickled to breathe in my upper chest. <laughs> Great. This energy is okay with you for the next week, and then they'll just absorb in. So the outer bodies are all sealed and healed. Your chakras are aligned. You're all done. Oh, namaste. Phil's completing his. Right. There's a lot of energy. <laughs> Thank you so very much.
Right, the the, if you want to do self-healing, another technique. The eleventh chakra is the uh, blueprint of your cells. Should the eleventh? I think it's the eleventh chakra. It's one of okay. the. It's like a blueprint of your your cells. If you can focus and channel into them, anything it you've got that's wrong, you can actually do a card repair. You can actually repair the body. Do you get that? What I mean? So you can yes, actually. I do. Yeah. Or you could even ask Crystal Energy to photocopy it and put it into your cells. Once it's in a few cells, it tends to spread and fix, fix yourself. Now the the healing, the grounding technique, which is also an healing. Uh, a lot of you, you know, you, if you can visualize a halo above your head, you did mention a gold one. This is a Gabriel's white light above your head, and just let it go slowly down your, each chakra, slowly down your body. So it goes like uh, two inches down, one inch up, two inches down, one inch up, two inches down, right till your feet, and then after your feet, channel uh, moon energy to clear anything from your field and the actual white light can change colour. So if you picked any attachments from your healing, it will go red, like dragon fire red, and it'll burn them out. If you need healing, it'll go green flame. If you emotionally need emotional energy, it'll go yellow flame. Uh, is it Joel? I think it's Joel. So it changes depending what you need. Okay, Great. That, was a look, that was a look, look, look tip. Oh, that's a lovely tip. Thank that's, you. One, that's from Atlantis, that one. When I was there, <laughs> I brought that one through. Mm. Do you want a card then? An oracle no, card? No. If we have time, that'd be lovely. Yeah, it's fine. Tell us when to stop. Now it's good. <sighs> yeah, it's a good one. Can you see that? Harmony. It's got a black glare on it. What is it? Harmony. Harmony. Oh, good. Yeah, at least you probably already know. Well, I spent yeah. the summer camping, so I'm at the most peace I've ever been in my life right now. <laughs> That's beautiful. So Harmony is uh, basically let all your troubles go. So if you've got any problems, just let them go. Surrender them. That's what I'm saying. Nobody has problems. Come on, really? No, that's no. <laughs> I had a problem last year when I got kicked out of the cashier records Nick trying to find the lottery in Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would get your hand slapped. <laughs> We're for trial. You never know. <laughs> All right. Well, this next. is very lovely. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. <sighs> I'm checking um, to find this group. Thank you. You're welcome. We do this every month. Oh, really? Okay, I'll look for your emails. That's how I found you, I believe, just through an email. And, and we, next week we're doing an Australian one at midnight. Yes, yes. Uh, next week wait. it's uh, Southern Hemisphere. It's at 4 o'clock Pacific time, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time. I'm on New York time, so. It's, well, it's 7 o'clock your time. 7 o'clock on what day? Next Saturday. Oh, next Saturday. It was the same email that was sent out. If you go to our, our website, uh, the link is there. Okay. The website for Heal, Teach, Love. Dot org. Dot org. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank um, you for the support. Reinhardt is, Reinhard is saying hello to everybody. Good to yes, see you. Yes, hello. Uh, hello. Thank you very much that you have uh, taken me on. Uh, Vic, Deb, and Phil. Um, oh, yeah. There's been a lot of work already done on myself. Just need to um, be sure that from the soul which had been, you know, living there, the, okay, if if this one has completely left, because um, <clears throat> the, um, the feeling of uh, spine and sitting is it's a very very slow process and then it starts again when i uh, wake up and then it hurts and then yeah i i i'm working on it going stairs down and up 
slowly because if you have an issue which is wide, you, you are paralyzed for some time and then some other nice beings come in and say, oh, this is nice here, would <laughs> you? So that was what had happened to you. Yeah. And if you can check just quickly if there's okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'll do. I'll give you some healing as well. You might mm -hmm. notice the healing's different because I've, since I've merged with the highest, my highest aspect, which is a crystal sword, I have got some of her essence, and I can feel the power going out now. So you might feel different. I'm not. That's not ego, by the way. <laughs> Sounds like it. But. So just relax. No, it's not ego, and and it's very powerful. And uh, yeah. um, I think it would be a good thing for you to to um, send that energy to Reinhardt. Okay. okay. Thank you. You may feel a lot now, Reinhardt. Yes, I you. can feel the energy. Phil is sending. Uh, Father's also sending energy. Thank you. It's going on across your hips. Yeah, that is where the problem is. You know. He's actually putting in like spiritual screws on each hip so that they stop the movement. For some reason, it, there's there's a lot of movement in your hips, and when the healing has been done, all of a sudden it shifts. Mm -hmm. um, so I can see him actually putting it, screws in to stop the movement um, after we've healed you. It's, for some reason, it's, it's adjusting again and causing the pain. So he's showing me, he's actually putting screws in to stop that movement. I've never seen him do this before. Thank you. And he's giving me the message that this should stop that from returning. Oh, I see crystals. Is that you, Phil? <laughs> it's that easy to do. <laughs> it's beautiful. The back, I, I can, I feel it's a bit of a trauma from the past life. I, I should have met this before. I uh, no, he was in a really bad car accident, so I'm not sure if it was a past life, if maybe you're seeing this life. No, it's past life. It is, huh? Yeah, so basically, if you've been injured at this life, it's like a return, it's like a cycle. Uh -huh. See. One head crush, no head crush in in a life is enough for the life, you know.
How do you feel? Uh, beautiful. Thank you. This is so helpful. Um, yeah, it is really nasty if you are just not movable enough for this. Is, yeah, thank you very much for, for helping me. Mm -hmm. Or Bill and Deb and Rick, yes. That pain's like a memory. It keeps on coming back. It's a bit weird. I've tried to dispose of it. Well, I don't know what my last past life was, you know, whether it is uh, riding a horse or driving a car, I don't know, you know, I feel cool. It, it, it was, this one was like a coach with an horse on. I've got the horse right now. <laughs> okay. It was the horse's fault, so you picked that one up. It's normally intuition straight away, that's good. Tell us when to say stop, if you want. Oh yeah, stop please, for the card, thank you. Hmm. And children. The glare is children. Yeah, children. Yes, I see it now. I think that is. Yeah, my too. children are grown. Uh, what children do you mean? I, 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 I should think he heal children. You're a bit too serious. Just have fun. <laughs> oh, I Just see. I, I should be more childlike. <laughs> More challenge. Yeah. Yes. Connect, connect and connect with your inner child. Okay. Yes. More, more okay. Fun. Okay. Mm, I understand. Yes. Yeah. At this time, it is important to have little child actions running. Yes. Mm. Not I too understand. serious. I understand. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Next up, we have Denise. Uh, thank you for the welcome back, Denise. We appreciate that. Um, did you have anything else, Denise? Denise? Hi. Yes, my, my husband wants a scan. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Rick. Hi, Deb. Hi. 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 Hello, all. <laughs> Is there any healing you need? You need? Uh, right now, yes. Uh, my, I'm feeling a lot of uh, pressure on my head, uh, part in my neck uh, area. And uh, I think uh, that's the healing that I need for... <laughs> you have a friend. You have a friend. <sighs> You, you you picked up somebody. <laughs> so it, it sounds like you have an attachment. Ooh. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. He's 82 years old. Marvin, Marvin joined you. Um, Can we help Marvin go? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> yes. I'm just, uh, he's right around, he's right around this big, you know, that little, right around the, that bone. Yeah. That, that the big, you know, where your neck and your spine are, that big bone there. Ah, Marvin. <laughs> Marvin is arguing with me. He's <laughs> I'm not religious. I'm not religious. <laughs> <laughs> His mother, Mother Mary, Mother Mary's standing next to him. Said, I'm not religious. <laughs> <laughs> mother Mary changed her outfit into a hippie outfit. She says, I'm not either. Peace. <laughs> 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 Peace, brother. <laughs> uh, see, he started laughing. <laughs> Calmed him down. <laughs> uh, 
can you ask Marv yes. how he uh, found or what <laughs> happened? <laughs> well, he, well we, we, he wasn't sure where to go, so he saw this light around you, so he figured you were safe to jump on. So he, stayed, he tagged along with you, and I'm we're explaining to him that he has that same light that you have. And, you know, it's kind of like a false light type thing. And it wasn't, but it, but even though he's not religious, he went to a where there was a bright light. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> even though he's not religious. <laughs> so we're explaining to him that he has this, and he has this little pilot light right here in his heart, like the same thing that, that gets bright like you have. So we're asking him if he could make that bigger. And as soon as he starts making that bigger, he gets this overwhelming love. And that overwhelming love overtakes him and then he makes it bigger and then he leaves. He'll uh, he'll release himself from you. So that's what we're, we're at that stage right now. Thank you. I actually think he just didn't want to go. He didn't, <laughs> I'd rather stay down here. <laughs> well, either way, he needs to find his way to his perfect place. Yeah. Feel a release? Yes, it, it's it's. Uh, I'm feeling like tingling right here. At my, uh, yes. here is our... You know, there was no reason for him to be grounded. No agony, no pain, no anger. Nothing. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to stay here because he had a good life. Bye bye. He's gone. All right. I'll just. <laughs> Do a healing in that area. It'll, it'll feel a lot yeah. better. Well, I did think. I thought it was it stress, and then I thought, well, Denise's laughter gets rid of every step stress, so it can't be that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. You're welcome. Doing a minor repair from how he got in and You are card. Yes. <laughs> you got pains anywhere else? There was healing done there as well. Oh, for your body. <laughs> That's all as well. All right. Snap. <laughs> you got that truth and insert telegram. I can't say the oh. word. <laughs> you know what I mean. Inter integrity. Truth and integrity. Truth and integrity. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you got it. When you have belief system, sometimes it's very difficult to change. So just. Just go, go with the intuition. Go forward. You miss. You get that. Mm -hmm. 
Your inner truth, your ear is correct. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> I did. But, but I think, I think that that's, right. I think the world is like that at the moment, actually. But believe it, you're not on the telly. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. She needs to have a picture. Okay. Leslie. Hello. Hi. Do you have a photo? I only have a photo of Adele. I don't have a photo of her family. That's so okay. Can you can you speak again, please, so I can see you in that film? I don't need to. Adele. So her family is a bit chaotic at the moment. I can, um, oh. I can, I can. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Ooh. I have lost it. Okay. Try again. Uh, if I give you share capabilities, will you be able to share it on? Okay. Yeah. I can see. Oh, now you spoke and I can see you, Phil. Okay. And, uh, I'm back there. Adele yeah. Bowie. Okay. Yes. All good? Yeah, it looks good right there. Did you see her enough, Phil? I've done it, I've done it. What's actually wrong with the family? They've become very chaotic. And she said that in the last eight or nearly nine, ten months now, she decided to focus on her business, to grow it. And she is actually a healer. She uses the Ness Health System. And with that, she combines that with her healing gifts and she is very effective. But when she's decided to grow her business from a part-time to a full-time with a extra income, she said her husband has suddenly become very erratic and very nasty and then that's taking effect on their three boys so the youngest is 14 and the eldest is 20 something 21 i think 22. her husband has an attachment um not a good one And this is a message that I'm getting. There's something. Is this personality completely changed? Yes. I think it's more than attachment there. I think that it's, yeah. I think it's like a takeover. There's something right. going on. I got, whew. And she's now become quite anxious. Does he have got any addictions at all? Not that I know of. She hasn't said anything about that. I'm just wondering how it's got in, that's all. Uh, she sent me a message last night. She said, what the heck is happening in this house? The eldest is angry and never normally is. Daryl is her husband, has slept half the day and woken up angry. How long has she been in the house? 
Uh, I can't remember, sorry. Is it the property? It's something really dark. Around. There's something, yeah, there's something really wrong there. So I did a clearing on her husband a few weeks ago. Uh, and he was okay for a while, but then suddenly it went really bad again. And I'm like, okay, I'm not seeing something. But I didn't do clearing on her property. I told her to do that herself. It's going to be a lot more than a clearing. Okay. Be one of my battles. Sorry? One of my battles, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's soulless. It's more than one. Um, they're, um, how old are the children? There's a fourteen there older boy. Five, the older boy. Uh, I think that might be Lawson, the one that she's mentioned. He's I think twenty either twenty between twenty one and twenty three, he's quite young. Yeah. Well These beings are, they need to be re removed. They're nasty. There's a few dragons that are out at the moment. Uh, one of the okay. guardians is out. Yeah. Friendly dragon dome. I'm seeing a hole in the ground. Is that where they're coming from? It is underneath. I was going to say that. Yeah. 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 It's like uh, beings from underneath. Reminds me of the film, actually. I 
I'll try and create a shield from under the I've never seen this yet. I'll create instead of a shield from the side it's underneath. Okay. Okay, an energy field to stop them getting through. The ones in the house have gone now. I'm not sure it's saying how they went. Of it's done now. You are scan it, scan the property, Leslie. You might see a dragon or two. Actually. Yeah, she has dragons. I've told her to release them. I said she's the only one who's got authority over her dragons. Yeah. But I think she keeps pulling them back in. But the property's clear now. Uh, where that black hole was, where this thing was coming from, that's all white too. It's divine light. It's coming through there. There's like underground caverns. Yeah. Very strange about that. But it's a shield now. I'm not going to just go down and get rid of them all because at the end of the day, they don't know what they're doing, do they? They're, yeah. They're just messing about for energy, aren't they? So there's like a protection. Do you, do you want Thank a card you. or do you want her to have a card now? Well, just a card for her, please. Yeah. Never seen anything like them before. Hmm. Never. I knew. It actually reminds me of a few, couple of films. Right, tell me when. Okay, stop. new love okay and I think that's exactly what it says here this is what I wouldn't tell her <laughs> I don't tell her <laughs> well she's she's pretty much had enough and it sounds to me like uh, she's had it, enough it, it might be it might be she's just got a new friend it might yeah. not be romantic anything uh, also I tell her to uh, accept divine love into our yeah okay. okay I think all the all the uh, problems she's having with, with me with her marriage and family I think she just needs to bring in divine love yeah yeah okay thank um, you very much is it half past four there in the morning uh yes <laughs> I'm wide awake now. <laughs> you could go. You could go to Sydney for shopping. <laughs> well, uh, the shops are closed, unfortunately. We're in lockdown. I know. I know. I know I'm joking. <laughs> we, we, we could do grocery shopping. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, hey, what Phil. You, yeah, it's fine. Sorry? What did you pick, there, by the way? What do you mean? What did you pick did you up? Pick it, what did you pick up? I, I picked up that they were soulless. I picked up that there were more than one. Um, hmm. I also picked up that the, they were going after, they were going to infiltrate the son, the older son. Okay. Um, not just the husband. They were also going after the son. I think they've already infiltrated him, actually. Yeah. But I think the, the husband has a... Um, uh, some kind of drug or alcohol problem. Okay. That, that is just, I don't know whether they, they, they were influencing him, but there was some, there was some kind of problem with him and it may go away now, who knows, but mm -hmm. they, they were, they were influencing both of them. Okay. And was that the, was that their plan to go from one to the other and take um, over the whole family? The yes. whole family, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, have we stopped that now? We've got the protective shield. Yes, but she needs to also. They all. Well, she needs to take back her power. I mean, this is something that 
all of us have to they can't go into fear they can't go into what's going on they need to sit and and yeah and stand in their power and call in their reinforcements we all have yeah. this ability yeah. I've, I've yeah. just i've just been told by my crystal source being i'm, I'm only doing half the job i haven't done any healing on it <laughs> Because obviously he's been affected mentally and everything. So I, we need to send him sort of some love energy and lift his vibration from all the damage we've done. I'll do that now. All right. Thank you. And by the way, I've, I've got permission of this iron I did pick up it's her business isn't it it's doing really well yes so at the moment it's she's not actually she doesn't have a digital presence but it is doing really well and she's very very busy what it is it's the husband being the man she being the woman but she's starting to do well it's an emotional yeah. thing yeah. yeah I told her that he's feeling threatened yeah because he's always been the main are uh, the primary source of income in the family mm. i said Sad i can see your uh, business yeah i said to, i can see your business growing and earning more than his mm. and he's not liking that yeah bit sad for him, but that yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you Welcome. Thank you, Deb and Rick. You're welcome. Katie. Oh, I love Thank you. Thank you. Um, with all the beautiful healings you have done on me, I have no physical healings at this time that I feel. However, I was wondering if I could have an emotional, spiritual healing, a balance of the aura with the balance of the chakras. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you ever want to harmonize your chakras, just visualize them in your head in a figure of eight going into each chakra and, uh, and then just go lower to the next one, right to the ground. But uh, I'll do that. Father wants to do a, um, an energy through your third eye. And he wants you to take a deep breath in, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Three, please. Casey, did you feel that? I feel that. 
I know I'm carrying a lot in my solar plex as it's overactive. <laughs> and being an empath, I'm figuring out what's mine and what's not. I was uh, guided to a little bit more grounding if you need. Anchoring. You want a card? Um, yes, and I'd like to know what cards you're using as I use angel cards with virtues and attributes. So which ones do you have? <laughs> it's Evening with the Angels, Oracle Cards by Doreen at the Virtue. Virtue, yeah. Wonderful. Have you heard that one before? <laughs> yes, I have. I, I couldn't find the ones that I just bought, but it's with the angels as well. Angels I've never heard of, <laughs> which is wonderful. And melding with my higher self, who is Archangel Flalier, I am in all the angel realm most of the time. So that's the grounding I need. You know, I went on a, an event that you was using oracle cards and I said I couldn't use them because I haven't got any. I've had these for probably 20 years. <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> yeah. You learn. Do you want to say stop when? Okay, I will say stop now. <laughs> yeah. What comes before grounding? Meditation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think you get too much of it, though. No, and it's like sitting on a toilet for a half an hour, so I have to do it consciously when my eyes are open. I mm. get that. I understand that. But yes, ba ba basically, you, you, you've got a fuzzy brain, and by meditating, you can connect to the angels more. Yes, that is definitely what I need. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Phil. Thank you, Thank you, Raphael. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Welcome. Radek, it's so good to see your name. Yeah. There yeah. Thought you had a thing. So I just pop my head in, see who's who, and how things are going, I guess. Good. How are you? I'm well. Good. I appreciate what you've done for my mother. I <laughs> I don't think I fully understood all the things that were going on in that uh, session. I had lots of questions and lots of confusion, but um, yeah, it was... <laughs> well, um, I told your mother that I wanted to remove the vaccine that you got because... Um, Remove the low vibration of it. That's what you mean. Yeah, um, it lowers. It, well, there's a lot of issues with the vaccine, um, but um, Philip, Rick, and I would like to remove the vaccine from you. Yeah, you remove know. the negative part of it. If there's anything that's not a PI is good, we can trans transmute it. Yeah, my was petrified. Well, I thought that you were like worried, like they're removing the vaccine from you. No, no, just the negative part of it. Yes. Anything that's going to harm you. Please. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, so I'm glad you're here. Just close your eyes and... Uh, the, the energy I use, actually, if you need to get any pain or anything, it, it can help you with that as well. Did you feel anything there? Radek. Hello. Did you, Did you feel energy? any energies? I'm sort of where I was, what side I had it on. Like, kind of like, pulling from like my brain, my head. Yes. Uh, from the, <laughs> kind of like a tripod, kind of like the center point upward. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I have my mom. And so, it's especially around my head. 
Yeah. Good. Good. But that's pretty good detail how you describe that. You've probably got good intuition and good you, you you've got a good visualization of what's happened there. But spiritually you could do some good in spirituality. You do anything now, no. Um loosely. I'm trying to get back into it. Um Mm. At the moment, I would say I would, I would do um, pranayama mm. for like an hour at least. Okay, you got, you got good minds either. What did you? Get the hmm? What did you get the feel? Well, how how I, I do it? Uh, I think uh, Louise mentioned before. We've got 11, 12, and 13 chakras. These are the, like the blueprints of humanity. And what I do is the 11th chakra is like your cell structure. So if you have got any clotting or anything like that for the vaccine, I, I, trans- I like, image that, the crystal, so it's crystal energies, put it into your better cells. So if there's any damage in the cells, it goes right through your body. But it, has, it is actually input, it's, it's the, it starts in your head. Uh, it's amazing to get that up. And what will happen over the few days, it will just repair any cell damage. Yeah. Uh, and I must admit, you to actually come on here, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. To be open to it. Because a lot of people who have had it are very reserved to it and very aggressive to it. But to be open, that's great. That's how you need to be. Have you got out to say that? I didn't hear you. What? Anything to add? No, nothing that, um, but I'm just so happy to see him. <laughs> I really am. I'm happy you came today and. Um, Give my best to your mother and tell her I sent her an email about her friend with MS that we could have. We I got a message that we could help you, her friend. Okay. The other thing is, if you've got any pains, you know, like back pain or anything like that, you might, that might be sorted as well. And it's a side effect. So you, you don't just repair one thing; it, it goes through your body, sort of thing. I'll take a, a card. Hmm? I'll, I'll take a card if you're offering. Yes, card. Angel card. Oh, right. I thought you said a card <laughs> then. I thought I, I haven't got a spare car. <laughs> yes, you win a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll manifest I'll money one. <laughs> hmm. Tell us when to stop. <laughs> yes, yeah, you've got a car. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can you see that divine guidance? I think we got that before, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. That's... Uh, yeah. You're being guided by your intuition. So you said you've just started doing some spiritual stuff. So you, 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 you're getting that from uh, other forces. They're guiding you to do it, your guardians sort of thing. Okay. Just carry on doing, just go into spiritual mode because you've got a really good gift there. But it's sort of your choice. Thank you. Yeah. Gita? Hi, I may have to speak for my mom because she's hard of hearing. Okay. She should be there. Is she come on? She's been waiting two hours. I don't know where she is. She was there. Back to the screen. Yeah. I don't think she heard you. 
Gita. Gita Ragani. Her name's because, showing on the screen. Yeah, she is there. I, I don't know why she's not unmuted herself. Do you know how to... Okay. There. Okay. okay. Hi. <laughs> Can you hear Hi. us, Gita? Yeah, I'm Gita. And um, I've got arthritis. I've got a lot of pain all over the body. And I want healing on my hearing. I've got a hard of hearing. And swollen feet. Lots of problems. The body, whole body is aching. Many years now. Do you keep stress a lot? Yeah, a lot of stress. Lot of stress. My my husband is alcoholic. Hmm. Yeah. The, the stress feeds hmm. all the pain, all, all the areas. Yeah, yeah. arthritis and everything. Stress. Oh. Yeah. You have to find a way of de-stressing. You, you, what's in your head, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, meditation. Hmm. Uh, Ugga tree. Do positive things, anything, fair enough. Yeah. You can be quite annoyed when you've got your your Mm. husband's alcoholic, it's annoying. But you're keeping the stress, you're not letting it go. And what happens is your head goes that full, it leads to negative energy into into your joints and it creates arthritis. Yeah, yeah. And loads of it, it does a lot of damage. So you got to de-stress you, but I'll I'll, I'll send you healing now. Okay, uh, have, thank have you. you. You're welcome, Deb. Have you scanned her? Yeah. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to De- Deb, and I'll send you healing. Okay. But I'll be I'll be you. taking you stress. You should feel you. Okay. Coming out. Thank you. See an implant in her ear? Do I see an implant? I'm just taking the stress out on the moment that I haven't checked anything. It's not in her ear, it's actually in her head. her shoulder blades at the top of her right between her neck and her she's got three right uh, right where her neck and her spine meet they're like those domino ones got another one right where her heart is she's also had the vaccine as well
did you feel that then? You just, yes, yes, yeah. in my head, mm-hmm. and then I feel the whole body is a bit free now. Mm. Are, you, are you still with your husband? Mind me asking. Yeah, he's still with me. I don't normally ask for this. Do you want me to try and change him a bit? Yes, please. I've got. I've got. <laughs> if you I've, can. I've got to ask his higher self for permission. But uh, let's see if, if I can change his direction a little bit. So. Okay. Right, G, sir. Yeah. Uh, I've set quite a few triggers in there. I got permission off your off your higher self. Uh, do you want a card? <laughs> and how do you feel now? A lot better. Yeah, better. Yeah. Okay. Tell us when to stop. Okay, stop please. Right. Right. Music. Um right, music, it's not just um, music, it's frequency. So yeah. start yeah. listening to music more, but okay. don't listen okay. to the music, pick up the frequency. And the frequency can heal you as well. So if you've ever got any problems, listen to the music and uh, you should be okay. Okay. Uh, What did did you get, Deb? Anything? Yeah, um, she had several, um, she she had several implants Mm. removed. She had um, in her head, in her heart um down her back she had what four by by her hips in her hips Mm -hmm. so that was affecting her they were the same ones they they were the domino ones when you have when you have someone around you that's got an addiction it does bring in a lot of low vibrations Uh and you would get affected by that definitely Thank the, you. the your stress, mm. your stress is not helping you. Your stress is creating the uh, uh, arthritis because yeah. you're not re- you're not removing it from your head. You're keeping hold of it and it's seeping in. That's a separate mm. issue. I've now removed yeah. it all. You've got Thank to find you. a way, and the best way mm. to remove it is what mm. the guard ga- the cards have said. Mm. Uh, music, music, music. Yeah. Yeah, frequency music. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. You're not gone yet. (laughs) (laughs) Victoria. Hello. Hi, Victoria. Hey, guys. Hi, honey. Do you want a message from Creator? Hmm. I want a message if if he has anything for the path that I'm going right now. Where I'm headed. Hello. Victoria, do you want me to give you healing as well? Um, if you want. If yeah. you want. Okay, I'll do that. I, I, I think you need to lift your vibration. You you you, you seem to be going lower. You need to lift it. Yeah. And I, I know it's very difficult at the moment. Yeah. So, I've so had to, I had a, a lot of struggles these few months, a lot of attacks, and mm. my baby has so many health problems. Um, it was really hard. We're not able to sleep for like literally months, months. Mm. And last night I had a really good sleep because I was just burnt out. Mm. It's, it's getting like it's much better I release some stuff so if you think that if you're in a good area if your vibration is high it will help uh, Bobby yeah so if you're in a low vibration it's not helping him so you've got to think of the I know it's a very difficult scenario it's like a road like a, a circle where you need to lift your vibration and it, it helps him. so I'll, I'll I'll lift your vibration if that's okay. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. Creator saying that the Phil's message to you, he couldn't say it any better. And he also says that you are letting others, Creator saying that you are letting others determine your vibration when you should be determining that, that yourself. You are so much stronger than that. Don't let them do this to you. You are so much loved. You are loved for who you are, not for what others say you are. Don't don't let them don't let them determine you. You are perfect in every way. Don't let them say that you're not. Under you know, you know that. You knew that a year ago. Your your vibration was here. You were glowing gold. Remember? multiple attacks non-stop attacks for months beating me down beating bobby down with him facing death over and over again it was just uh, i was literally at a breaking point so it, it was a lesson i needed a really hard lesson that bobby had to take for you know for this you know for me to grow from this but um yeah, definitely. And to no understand more. that you you have to take care of you first, not yes. anybody else, but you first. It's you, not and you're, you're sacrificing yourself for what? Yeah, my yeah. We all have to understand that that we have to take care of us first before we can take care of others. It is not being selfish at all. You're not the and sacrificial people, lamb. Yeah, and people won't thank you for it, no matter how much you've done. I mean, this is a sad, uh, cruel reality of things, but you know, the, the one person or being that really matters to me the most is Bobby, right? And, you know, he's taking the beating from it. So a very hard lesson, but I'm, you know, uh, I'll get past this and, you know, Bobby is eating today, still shaky in the morning and he's, um, you know, I still need to watch him because he's still at risk. But he's definitely um, improved. Yeah, and I have to thank yeah. you and Phil for it. Thank you guys and, for helping. And you and you have to improve too. Thank oh, I'm improving. You. I'm good. I'm improving. Good. 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 It's better than yesterday. Good. I was like really. I was like. I was like so hard. Yeah. And and then that one sleep overnight, because I haven't slept for months. Literally, I haven't slept for months. It was not really much of a sleep when I have to keep waking up because something's happening to Bobby or something's going on. So it was um, something I really needed. Okay. All right, thank you. We love you. Victoria, you are one of the most powerful beings here yes. on Earth. Yes. And you're just going to their level. If you can shine and go above that level, you wouldn't even see what the, what uh, the attack you being done. I think I really needed that. Um, uh, I really needed this lesson. Yeah. Because what I did was I started um, a space, um, a social media account, and, and and the goal was to help people. And I, I'm helping millions by I'm actually putting my energy into my writing. To activate light and stuff so a lot of my energy went out and this also attracted a lot of you know attacks and everything from all from all, like all corners and um just, so this is just me trying to get on my path and learning how to navigate through all this and um you know um definitely things will change for me and i thank you for all the advice 
Do you, like, Do you want a card? Sure. Tell us one. Gonna be all night. <laughs> say stop. Oh, I'm stop. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to say stop. <laughs> Ah, I would have picked this one. Nature. Nature. Yeah. I've been guiding, um, getting a lot of guidance from Gaia. And, you know, in my writing, I've been, you know, putting up my writing with a lot of nature and stuff like that, hoping to help. But I understand that card meaning. Uh, physically connect with nature. Yes, yes. Yeah. Been lacking that for the last while um, indoors a lot, mm. especially with yeah. Bobby. I used to take him out a lot, like to parks and stuff like that. But with his help, um, like this, you know, the most he can do right now is just be in the yard. Mm. But thank you. Thank you. Any other, any other um, message from the nature card? That's that's it. It's connected it? to uh, yeah. Uh, it's basically going out connecting to nature. I also, this isn't the meaning of the cab, but uh, if you're ever having trouble spiritually, sometimes you just got to start at the basis, the basics again. Yeah. Start when, when you were, think when you were glowing, when, when you were really powerful. Mm -hmm. Think how it got there, so you got to just start again. Yeah. But as you say, it's a good lesson. It was a, a good lesson. lesson. Mm. Not for you, but, but it's a good lesson. <laughs> At the time. <laughs> yeah. Thank All you. right, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Louise? Can't see you. How are you, Sir Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. fine. Good. Just a scan, see if there's anything that I need shifted or healed or... Is there anything you think it needs uh, shifting or healing? Because why, why say it? You must have a... I feel heavy. I just feel feel my like, little bit of vibrations and the <laughs> pressure of everything that's going on. I'm trying to not involve... I had been double jabbed, unfortunately, and now I've woken up to the realisation that, oh, oh, I shouldn't have been. Um, and I haven't... I feel really low vibrations and I'm a very spiritual person. I meditate every day, uh, crystals a lot, but I just I just feel really heavy, dense. I, w I wonder why. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want me to try it? And I'm also, I'll tell you what the real thing is. I, I'm a medium, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been successful in readings and things, but I have this fear and I'm doing a diploma in it, but I just ha can't go over this fear of doing a reading to a, a, a person over Zoom or whatever. I've just got this fear mm. blockage. Uh, yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the end of the day, the people that you do Zoom on, a lot of them are mediums as well, and a lot of them know, but you just got to go with your intuition straight away. And you yeah. just got to block all that out. But I, I think that heaviness and everything is all to do with the vaccine. So I'll try and trans, transmute it using the crystal source energy. You did mention on there, it's from your 11, you have 11, 12, 13 chakras. 11th is a blueprint of humanity. Yeah. So uh, the crystal takes the blueprint and goes into your cell. And it only has to do a few. And because it's got a, because it's uh, alive, it will, it will, and intelligent, it will go through the body. Okay. All right, just to close your eyes. By the way, that's not my sound. See a football match on. He's watching a football match. <laughs> no, I'm not. Watching what? Huh? Football. 
There's no football here. Isn't that weird, that? That is so strange, it's not me. I don't get that, Deb. How can we be here in a football match? I've got nothing on here, nothing on the computer. Is this hey, hmm? Is it gone? That's yes. it. <laughs> well, what was funny was, I was being marked, it was coming from me. <laughs> Right, just relax then. I feel like I, her head, her head is very oh. heavy. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, very. As soon as she, as soon as she looks at her, I, the whole head is yep, heavy. The it. back of the head, I feel like I want to put my head back like this. Mm -hmm. oh. it's, like, it's like black blue, it goo, isn't it? Yep. Oh. Black goo. Like there's something weighing your head down. Yep. It feels like you've had an holiday on the right. It's giving me a neck ache and a headache right now. Yep. Yep. What is mm -hmm. going on? Mm -hmm. Something's pushing. Something's pushing her head back. What is it? Personally, I think it's the thing. Oh my gosh. It's like there's a, a boulder. It feels like it as well. It's a dark energy. It weighs so, it's so heavy. I'm trying to locate it. It's hiding from me, but it's not gonna be able to hide from Bill. I can tell you that right now. He's laughing. He says his name is Zachariah. Oh, oh my goodness me. Right. I've heard that name before. He's on my back. Yeah. It's heavy. You know, I feel a lot of heaviness and you know, heady, brain foggy. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm actually taking to my bed much more since I've been vaccinated than I did ever before. Because I just want to, just, I'm so heavy. Yeah, I, uh, I was getting the message that this uh, and uh, this being actually may made you have the vaccine by by uh, sending you signals. Yeah. How long have you had this uh, heaviness? Oh, well, I have fibromyalgia, which is obviously, a, and I've got diabetes. But I do have health problems, and they are probably attachments from my childhood because I had a very traumatic childhood. But um, I have, like, you know, um, done the Hopo Ponopo and, you know, shadow work and da da da. Yeah, but definitely since I've been vaccinated, I just can't get out of the bit. Lost interest in stuff, haven't done my diploma and my mediumship, just taking to more try to meditate. Everything switched up. 
You still got the heaviness, Louise? Just in the back of my neck. It's I can feel it leaving like the, my head. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> I'm not a medic, but I'd say slight blood clots in my life. I'm not a medic, so I can't say that. <laughs> I do but, have high blood pressure. I take medic a lot of medication for stuff, nerve pain and fibromyalgia pain, which is obviously. This what I'm giving you now might remove a lot of that. By the way, a lot of that pain. <laughs> I just feel really giggly. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really, I feel really, really light. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Really light. It's like light lightened up <laughs> it's lovely uh, like before did you see did you see uh, can you see things going on are you uh, clairvoyant uh, yeah yeah um, i just saw white light going down and white light going across <laughs> in this area you you the, the, these lights are crystal energies right and because they're inside yeah it lifts your vibration that's yeah. another reason why it cancels the the as well Mm-hmm. I also found out recently I was a grid keeper, so I know I've got to be giving a lot of energy back to the earth, which I probably don't do. You're a grid keeper? Yep. Is that correct? I'm supposed to be a grid, and that was Ivan Tellers told me I'm a grid. So. Right, okay. Yeah. I did that's a a, that sounds so <laughs> egoistic, that does Yeah. Most of them are Atlantis as well, apparently, from yeah. my QHHT, which I knew anyway. I'd been a mermaid. Right. What you need to do, yep. you also need to help sort out your, your childhood, all yeah. the baggage you've got there, oh. you know that. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, I would say, uh, soul repair by Nikki Sutton. Right. That's oh! She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Nikki Sutton. Excellent. I thought, I thought it's a female. Yeah. yeah. I thought yeah, you said it's an E. Yeah. No, Nikki Sutton. I, I'm Scottish, sorry. Nikki Sutton. Yeah. yeah heard about <laughs> you don't have to apologise for being Scottish. No bother. Nikki Sutton. I, I follow her on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, soul repair. Soul repair. Right. Fra fragment. Okay. Soul fragment. And that's your childhood right. one. Your childhood one. Right. Yeah. What part of Scotland are you from? Between Inverness and Aberdeen. I've been to Aberdeen. A place called, a place called Forest, which is... Hmm. Have you heard of it? Has anybody heard of the Findhorn Foundation? No. Very... Well, it's obviously not famous then. <laughs> um, it's, a, <laughs> it's a spiritualist camp uh, that was set up in the 60s. And it's hmm. quite a big place and I just live next door to it. So, yeah, it's great. I had a bit of trouble. I had a bit of trouble in Aberdeen once because I had a girlfriend that's Scottish, and they don't like it. <laughs> Me being English, if you know. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Doing that. <laughs> All right, you look you. better anyway. You know I too. I absolutely feel enlightened. I feel enlightened. I totally feel enlightened. I do. I feel totally enlightened. I just feel like a big darkness has been taken away. Thank you so like much. I like an awakening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the start of my awakening is just euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Thank you so much. You're welcome. welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. I just feel tingly now. Mm. Great. You'll have, you'll have it for a few. You'll have it probably a week actually. You won't oh, have a few days. oh, great, oh. great. Yeah, all the healings will be with everybody for a week. Mm. Brilliant. I do miss my. Um, Angelic Healer I was get, I was getting it once a week for a donation. Um but it stopped because of COVID. Um and it was high vibrational um angelic healing, it was brilliant. Is that a was, a was that a centre? It was just yeah, it was just a gathering of um healers that you could go in and pay a donation for fifteen minutes for healing and it was just the best. Yeah, the one round here, I've reached out of that again. Right, okay, well, I'm waiting for hours to start. So, brilliant. 
Thank you so much. Yeah. Feel, Thank you. feel really, really good. That's good. You can do a card. Oh. Yeah. yeah, if you want to give me a card. I'm not, I, uh, I do quite often do angel on angel cards occasionally on the phone, but I'm I'm Lenormand's Lenormand cards I use. All right. Uh, I use I use uh, Oracle Angelic and mm-hmm. Alistair Crowell with Tarot. <laughs> so I use both both extremes. All right. <laughs> right t- tell us where to stop. Okay. Stop. Ooh. Can you see that one? Guardian Angel. Angel. Guardian yeah. Angel! <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mine's uh, uh, Michael. So what do you think that message is? What, Guardian Angel? He's to oh, say he's yeah. behind you. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel him up right side. Yeah. Got a guy on the left, he's on the right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So. Excellent. All right, Janine. Oh, that was brilliant. You just. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> like I said, I'm just a little. Uh, worn out, thin, you know, just constant mom in and out of the hospital. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping my high vibe up, but um, <clears throat> it's a long haul. Okay. Did, did you tell me she's improved recently? Yes. I, I had a She's in the, her heart's failing slowly. Mm. Yeah. Her, yes, her, her cancer's great. Um, they finally took her off the treatments and the next day her heart's went into arrhythmia and it's been a long couple of weeks. Mm. She's tired. Mm. And you need some energy as well, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, I'm willing her to keep continue on. <laughs> and then mm. it's, I'm doing everything I can, but um, I know. Okay. So, what do you want us to do? Give you some strength? Um, I I was I I wasn't sure. Yes, that would be good. I don't. I'm quite Jean, sure there's nothing wrong with me. Let me ask you a question. Me. Hold on yes. a second, Jean. What if this is the time that your mother planned on leaving? I I feel that. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm maybe not she's doing waiting, it. Maybe, maybe, maybe she's waiting for you to, to tell her it's okay to go. I, we have recently just in the hospital, but she has other family members close to that are not getting it. <laughs> so there, she has a, a directive not to resuscitate, but <clears throat> of course they're gonna do everything possible. She's, she has she's a really DNR, she, she has a DNR, but um, they're, they're still doing everything? Yes. How are they doing that if, they, if she has a DNR? Uh, it, would co- it would come to, uh, if it, completely if her heart completely stopped they would not resuscitate oh but that's okay yeah because i i'm only trying to understand because you said you just said i tell her to hang on but now you're saying something different Um, well yes we have our talks and i i we have our angel talks and i i know she gets me but she has alzheimer's so Oh. <laughs> so, um, and she's in the dream state a lot, day and night. So, um, you know, it's yeah. it's that time. You can you can speak to her higher self, and she'll get you. So you just yeah, and and 
connect your heart to heart. That's all yes. that matters. That's all okay. that. That's all. Just your mom, yeah. you know, is going to be fine. Yes. Yeah. I do. <laughs> You're going to make me cry <laughs> again. I, yeah. I just don't want you to hang on when this is her the script she wrote. People you know keep begging people to stay with them because they're not ready to, for them to go but this is the time that they should be going mm -hmm. what i could what i could yeah. do it's your choice i could do like a blessing a clearing on your mum but i can also do it on the family members they're not yeah. letting her go but I, I, that is your choice if you want me to do that yeah um yes i um it's, it is difficult. Yes, uh, for, for moving forward, yes. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I agree that's what's needed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just uh, if we connect to our hearts and close your, heart, close your eyes and just think what you really want. And not, you know, the, you, at the end of the day, if there's nothing going forward, you've got to, something's got to be done on it. So I'll, I'll do a blessing. Okay. Oh yeah. I feel like it's uh, gonna be good. Father wants to, to give you some energy, and he wants to. It's his energy. It's, it's crystalline white energy. And it's gonna go through your third eye as well. Oh. Now he's going to send some into your heart, heart to heart. Oh, very strong. Whew. It's more like love. Wow. He's reminding you of your connection. It never goes away. It feels wonderful. I, um, yes, the, yes, it's been busy. <laughs> I try and focus, but it's been He wants very you busy. to remember that to just put your hand here whenever you're, mm -hmm. when you need to. And he says, remember, just remember 
who you are. Okay. Yes. And he'll give you that little love bomb. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like and he says, you know what I mean. Yes. Yes, because I send them myself after years. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he said, to, yes, if you have to step out of the room and just take a deep breath, three deep breaths, and, and feel that love bomb, just do, do that. You just don't you don't need to take all the burdens on you have to release them because it weighs heavy on these shoulders mm-hmm. you've got to let them go this is yeah. this isn't your journey it's her journey right right thank you you're right and you're she's right. okay mm-hmm. she's okay she will yeah. always be okay they're gonna be right there to take her hand Yep. I appreciate you. I do. Thank you. You want you want a card? Um, yes. For you yes. or for your your mum? Oh, you want one each. You want one each. One each. No, one no. Each. Yeah. No, <laughs> yes, you can one get one each. One for her mom first. Right. Tell us one. No. Thank you. I'm going to go to the restroom. I'll be doing the cards. Good to see you. I'll be right back. It's serenity. Ooh. That's fitting. <laughs> I know. Peace of mind within you. That's probably the, the card. Yeah. And do you want one for you? Yes, please. Uh, good right there <sighs> serenity <laughs> which is peace of mind isn't it yes yes I, I spend too much time just standing and watching her sleep because she's I know she's with her family and her angel team and father and you know I see she, she's in that you know you know can I tell the story about what happened to my mum? My mum had cancer. Uh, no, she had an operation and it went wrong. She had six hours to live. Mm-hmm. And I was very angry at the time. So at one time she died and I brought her back from the tunnel. And I told mm-hmm. these gargoyles to go, go away. Mm-hmm. And after three weeks, I was draining because I was keeping her alive. But she'd said a piece to everyone. And I thought that was just the right time. Yeah, because do you want to go early, but she said it. Uh, Deb, oh, uh, she got the, uh, serenity, both of them got serenity, peace of mind. <laughs> Which is bang on in there, I couldn't get any more than that. No. Perfect, mm. thank you. Okay. And it, she hasn't got any life's baggage, because people keep life's baggage to the end, it's now all gone. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Oh, always an honor. It's an honor to do this every single month. It truly is. <laughs> We're all fortunate. Here. Terrell's still here. Oh, she probably left. Okay, I'm gonna try and copy this and send it to myself. Oh, I'll try and do it later, I guess. Uh, la 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 la. Okay. 
trying to get to the next person. Lots of chatter. Katie, I'd Katie. <laughs> we already did Katie. Okay, Jillian. We already did Jillian, didn't we? Jillian, did we do you? No. Oh. Is Jillian still here? Jillian is still here. Jillian? I don't think so. Hmm? Jillian. I think it's not. She's yeah. here. She's typing. Well, I need to. We need to see your face, dear. There you are. Oh yeah, sorry. Hi, Jillian. <laughs> <laughs> you can, can you unmute? Hi. Hi. Yeah. There you go. Hi. Thanks for waiting. No, it's been wonderful to watch you all. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Jillian, I'm bringing right to your heart. Yeah. You may feel a Did you have pneumonia recently or any cold? Um, I had um, an attachment um, for months and um, I picked him up at the hospital and I had the symptoms that he had and that triggered, my immune system wouldn't turn off and so it's, it's triggered an autoimmune. Who removed the, the attachment? Um, what's his name? That's all right. It's, it's all right. Let's see. I because I don't. Yep, did a good job because I don't feel an attachment, but I feel like an illness. I feel like your heart. Yeah, you did. Almost, um, like, almost yeah, like you went into congestive heart failure. Yes, um, my chest with the attachments that I'd got um, seized and um, my lungs just they couldn't um, expand um, yeah, that's congestive heart failure I did, um, I did yeah I had everything um, my whole neuro system uh, crashed my nervous system as well so basically you had everything that he had that's strange isn't it I yeah. literally ended up with yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't move. I couldn't. My nervous system just. Mm. I couldn't walk. I couldn't move my arms. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna remove all this because this isn't yours. Yeah. Okay, Deb. I'll uh, I'll put crystal energy in to try and get you back to normal as well. If we both do it. Oh, yeah. So, um, it closed my eyes as well, and um, I even started losing my speech. Okay. Wow. Well, this is got you're going to be put back to normal. So we're going to remove all the because this you don't own this. This is no, not I mean, yours. I've, I've always known it's not mine. Um, yeah. Both of you. The only thing that got me through it because it was two weeks on oxygen in hospital was calling in my guides and uh, literally I was like this is illegal and I called for justice whichever way it fell mm. the, um, the, prob I the problem you've had is the E had very similar your blueprint you were very yeah. close in energies and that's the only way it could happen that my light and mm. went to me straight away and he was uh, across the bay from my granddad I mm. actually heard because I didn't realise at the time that your soul star chakra anchors in and I heard it open I heard the tone I felt everything but I didn't realise that it was him mm. and, um, and it was a lady in India who's 
asked me to send her a photo and she said um, she could physically see him but she didn't know what to do with it and I did, couldn't actually feel him. Mm. But it's gone on now for ooh, a good year and a half, maybe nearly two years. But what it is, when we when eel is eel, they feel the pain of the patient and it normally goes after grounding. Yours is anchored into you. Yeah, it is. Means, like, like his blueprint on overlaid. Yeah, but it means that your energies are very close. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do that. I mean, the chances of it happening, before I went to see him in the hospital, I was told not to go. Yeah. And I was like, I can't leave him there. He'd never been in hospital. And he was 96. Mm. And I was like, I can't leave him in hospital on his own. The, the odds of that happening are millions to one. To yeah. actually get someone so close that their, 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 their essence is anchoring into your essence, basically. Their, their memory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is going to be... Never, I never had that before. I always get worried that I could... Uh, eel someone and it could transfer over and it could stay with me. But I've never had it. It's never happened. Yeah. So, okay. Alright, just close your eyes. All right, we're bringing in the ancestors. You may feel a group of, of um, individuals around you. They're from the stars. They're Native Americans and Mayans that uh, my husband and I have around us. The crystal source energy will like enter your crown chakra. You might be like. Yeah. <clears throat> Better out. Yeah. <clears throat> this, this is part of the. This is, you probably know that anyway. <clears throat> All of this is being removed. It's coming out through your crown. It's like a, a mustard yellow color. I could see it being removed, all of it. Take deep breaths if you can through your nose and start blowing out through your mouth slowly. You can actually see the form of a person coming out of her. I can feel it. again yellow like yeah, I, th I think it's a shell of him his, his yeah. essence is gone but it's like the shell of him stayed behind yeah so much positive energy around her right now that it, the shell, whatever it is inside of her, can't stay. There's so much energy, beautiful energy around her. I want to thank everybody that stayed here in the webinar. Who, also sending their love energy. What a beautiful thing.
How are you feeling? Um, <clears throat> I, I could, um, I think I need to just put my phone down for a second because I'm feeling some cramping in my arms like there's something stuck. Uh, I'm a bit, bit clammy. My face is a bit clammy. Can you lift your arms up? I'm, I'm just going to pop my phone down a second. How does that feel? Um, well, that's better. Um, I had an assessment on Monday and I couldn't do this far with my arms. I don't see anything stuck. Yeah, I think it's because I've been that used to having restricted movement that the muscle just, I just needed your movement. Face, your face looks totally different. <laughs> <laughs> I know myself, I've, I've gone to the bathroom in the evening. No, I mean, from the start of this, when we started talking to you, your face looks totally different. Yeah, <laughs> look, I'm just, I'm just, beautiful. I'm just, I looked in the mirror before and I knew it wasn't me. Look in the mirror no, now. <laughs> it's not me. I feel lot you know, I feel lighter. I'm sweating. <laughs> but you, you just had two sorts two completely different sorts of ways of doing it at the same time. So that was quite quite good. I think. It's like combined then, both energies like combined, they're not too sure. Cause the main thing I, that I saw it go right, I, I, Phil and I both saw the energy come right, the, um, mm. the individual come out of you and I saw all the toxins come out of you, I saw it, it's gone. Yeah, you, you were coughing, that was, that was, clear. The, yeah, that was clear. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I have had a, uh, I've done a lot of work and I, I have had a lot of assistance and I was just absolutely baffled as to why one of my eyes was still closing and when I looked in the mirror in my own hands I knew it, it didn't, it wasn't me, it wasn't completely all me. Yeah. It's a really strange feeling because okay. I don't, I, you don't recognise yourself and it's almost a bit, ooh, a bit of a shock. It's like you're renting your body out to someone else, but yeah. for their very own. <laughs> yeah. All I kept being told all all the time, even by strangers who are tuned in, is they can't quite grasp people. They just keep saying, you're an anomaly. And that's what people call me. They were like, you're an anomaly because you go places you shouldn't be able to go when you do things. They can't tune into it like both you have what that thing was, you know, that thing that they were missing. It's a so million to it's a million to one chance of having another essence so similar. Really yeah. is. Yeah. Is there anything um is it just was it just him on my on my eyes? On it the through, it, it was all your body. It's true. It was in your chakras and everything. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it was almost like um, when I was drawing in light from everywhere, it was like it was getting diverted. It wasn't quite getting where I needed it to. Yeah. I would say, I would think he was trying to become alive again. 
Yeah. So yeah. He was directing the yeah. energy, but you were also feeling what was wrong with him. So. Yeah. Like, like a, it's a bit like a possession, but not a good one. Right. You didn't do it right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's because your uniform, which is your energy, energy field, is very similar. Because he wouldn't, he, he, he wouldn't have been able to break into you, but he did. Do, do you know, actually, here that frequency was, it was so high. I, I was like, he was leaving. I knew somebody was leaving the body, uh, and I knew which chakra it was coming from, but I just hadn't got a clue that it was so close and that it had hit my. I just hadn't got a clue. We've had some un- we, we, we've had a lot of unusual ones tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's been fascinating. It's been amazing to watch because mm. everybody we're all intrinsically connected, aren't we? Yeah, that, you know, we've all got that thread, and the subconscious knows all. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just bringing it forward, and somebody being able to tune into that frequency and bring the information yeah. and connect with what's needed. But thank you very much. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Drink a lot of water, and this healing, and this this will continue for the next week. So your body's still going to go back to you. Yep. And continue this, so the energy doesn't leave you. So it'll just continue. Well, well, hopefully I'll be able to um, come off all this carrier bag full of medication. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. of yes. Yes. Immune suppression medication. Mm. Yes. So be careful and, and and have your your guides should be you connect with your guides and you and your higher self and yes. know that um, all of this they, you should be able to be guided through this and know that you'll you'll be weaned off of all of this. Uh, you might need detoxing as well. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely because um. At one point, I was um, trying to clear it of anything negative because I know I'm capable of doing that. But with being overshadowed, and I've had other things as well. There's been, a, you know, a lot of things I've had to clear and have assistance clearing. I, I knew it wasn't connecting. Mm. Well, well, you yeah. are. You are now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You, you, you are a card. card. Yeah. Yes, please. It's always after because it's it's now a new you. Before it would have been different than now. Yeah. Would have been, wouldn't it? Because even yeah. my oracle cards were very conflicted. They, were, yeah. they didn't make sense. Two readings, two people. Yeah. Contradicted the first card. I did three cards and the first and the last card had contradicted each other. Yeah. One of these one person, one of each the other. <laughs> they know <not> for me. <laughs> I tell um, us when to stop. Stop. Yeah, uh, guardian angels are behind you. On your back. Yeah. Should have been there before. <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, I did uh, because I've worked with the archangels and. I was attuned to the arc. I did call them in for the went, so I'm a bit like, yeah. how's he got in? <laughs> yeah, it is surprising because you haven't got any addiction or anything to bring it in. You haven't willed it in. So basically, yeah. I think your energy field is that similar that it, it uh, your body couldn't, uh, didn't block it because it, it was, was so close. I was confused. Um, a lady just said to me, she just said, you're so right because you've done the work it was almost like he was ready to go and saw you and just got confused and went bang into you <laughs> well, if you the, because the energies are similar well you say a blessing or a lesson don't you they're both of them <laughs> yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you so much Okay. I 
think we are done. We're done. Yes. Unless anybody else, anybody else that we haven't done. Deb, I want, Jill, how are you? I'm fine. Sierra. Hi, guys. Hello. You would like a healing scan? Yes. Um, well, I had a drill up the, the other day. My arm from before when I first, first met, when I used to get like that burning sensation, mm -hmm. it was burning all day and all night um, when I got home from Ken and Mindy's. And last night, my tongue, um, one time I showed Phil up one time, my tongue like had swelled up and had like this weird like sensation. I can't swallow and it's happening again. Like I can't, right now, I couldn't eat my food. Um, I have a hard time like just drinking water. And um, and then I hurt my, my knee. I tore my back of my um, calf muscle when we we're moving furniture at that new house, that, that house where we're closing from the uh, state. I'm on, I'm on a brace. I had to like wrap it with a rope at the area that we were at. We were out in the mountains. <sighs> That's where I'm at. Nothing else. Um, that's all. Those are three things. My tongue, my arm was burning, and I feel like exhausted. My leg hurts. My knee hurts. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll send you healing. And if there's any uh, manipulation, I'll sort that out. Thank you. Okay. I want you, Vera, to do it with me. What's causing this tongue? I want you to. What's causing your tongue? Let's let's scan it. What's going on with the tongue? Let's look for it. What do you see? What's around you? Around me? What's around? No, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture what's going on with your tongue. Why is this happening where you can't swallow? I keep thinking of water. Something about water. Water. So I keep drinking more water because I think maybe that's what it is, but. Did she drown in a past life? Did she drown in a past life? I don't know. What water do you drink? Just normal tap water or from the bottle? Yeah. What else did I drink? Yeah, well, how do you drink your water? Is it from a bottle? Water bottle. Yeah, so I took all the water, all my water yeah. from water bottles, lightly. Did she drown in a past life, though? I'm checking it now. Yeah. And I have blisters all around my lips, like if... <sighs> fire? I, I was getting fire. Fire? Yeah, it wouldn't drown, yeah. Suffocated and fire. Yeah, I feel like I can't breathe. My tongue is making me like, feel the not breathing. I feel burning on my arm. Now you see it. Now you see it, Vera. Do you see it? I do. I see like, like I'm in pain, like I'm burning. And then I feel like, I feel. That's why you can't swallow. Yeah. Now we, need right. to release, now we need to release that. That's a past Sorry, I've, I've muted you by mistake. <laughs> huh? Okay. There you are, Phil. So I was burnt in my past life? And drowned? No, burned. 
That's why you can't swallow it. That's why the blister's on your lip. <sighs> so yeah. things things are coming up that need to be transmuted. That's all. Okay. So let's... let's... But what you can do as well is uh, go to that past life, even though you might not see it, and bring back your soul fragment, forgive everyone that created that, that story. Forgive them, let them go, forgive yourself for being in that predicament. What, do you know uh, why I got burnt though? Doesn't matter. No, you, it doesn't matter. It's obviously a trauma, so obviously you weren't ready to die then. Mm -hmm. So you put yourself in that predicament it was a fire, it feels like a building, and you were trapped in it and the flames, but you basically died before you got burnt, basically, you, the flames actually suffocated you. Mm. So what you've got to do is, it's obviously someone that created this, and you also created it yourself. So you've got to bring back that soul fragment, give it love, bring, join it back to your soul, forgive the ones who's done it, just do it by intent. Okay, do it by intent. Let it go. going away yeah oh my tongue's back to normal almost <laughs> yeah oh my lips yeah oh i couldn't swallow i couldn't breathe <clears throat> much better oh Okay. Mm. All right, let's focus on you. Is, which knee? Left? My left knee, the back of my calf, the muscle rip. Okay, I want you to bring in the energy too. Because remember, Thanks. you're a healer. You can do this. Uh huh. Yeah. Break through the energy. into the hip back down again beautiful good job how's that feel it's better might just be so yeah yeah you know it'll, it'll stay there for a week yeah I was just so tired too. I was trying as uh, my tongue feels like back where you um your throat chakra though. It feels like needling in the back of my throat where your tonsils are. Not yeah. the same feeling. Uh, I've, 
Uh, put some crystal source energy in there as well, so your vibration should increase. So start doing a bit more of your journey, spiritual. Okay. Beautiful. Mm. So instead of seeing, I was seeing water, because water is what I was wanting, but I was really, really went the burning, right? Is that what I've seen? I mean, because I just saw water, like, I needed water. I didn't see you, the burning. You, right, you needed water. Think about it. You're burning, the building's burning. What is the one thing you need? Was water. But I, I, I felt the burning in my arm, but I mm -hmm. just kept thinking I needed water. And that's why I had, I have water here, and I kept drinking it and drinking it, thinking that was gonna be the, what was gonna help me. But, but yeah. if you were okay. in a building- I was confused you, about it, what I was thinking. Yeah, if you were in the building on fire, what is the one thing you would need? <laughs> water. water, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the mem the memories come through. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just was really confused. I didn't I didn't get it, so I'm glad we all connected. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was an easy one to see. <laughs> it's not a whole yeah. week process. <laughs> <laughs> you <Different>. did <didn't> make much. <laughs> that was a different one. Oh no. Nice to see you. You too, honey. Do you want a card? Yes, please. Tell us what. Now. Uh, okay. Now you're fixed, you can do some playfulness. Playfulness? Yeah. What does that mean? A bit of fun on your journey. Have fun on my journey. Mm. Mm. I haven't have done that in a long time. I mm. know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Perfect card. Very perfect card for you. <laughs> yeah. What, what kind of fun do I want to do is the question. <laughs> <laughs> good fun, good fun, y'all, good fun. <laughs> nice to see you, Deb, Rick, and you guys relaxing a little bit at home? Yes. Relaxed? Not yet. <laughs> yet? Not yet. Ah, uh, well, soon. Thank you so much. I'm the last one, right? No, mm -hmm. um, we have some more that joined now. Davina. Oh, okay. Let's do with Davina. Thank you guys, guys. Welcome back. Sorry, I was going to, you know, be here sitting quiet and holding space. But, you know, I, my throat is kind of bothering me. So I said, oh, just asking for scan and healing. Thank you. I love your unicorn. <laughs> I thought it was real. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I was I was thinking about you. They had a, she had an earthquake right next door to her. Yeah, yesterday. But I, I'm kind of, you know, I had a um, cold for three weeks. Now, it's about one week ago, I started, you know, recovering. But the, the taste bud and the smelling is not coming back yet. So, you know, I'm still like coughing from time to time. So I... I appreciate that, you know, the quick scan and <clears throat> healing, please. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> well, my ancestor, the ancestors are going to join you. bringing this energy.
I've never seen this before. They went put inside an ear. They started in the bottom in the root chakra. And it almost looks like the unicorn, but it was all different colors like that. And they opened up inside, almost like a lotus flower would open up. And they put energy inside. So it would go inside your lungs and this energy went inside to heal your lungs, your your esophagus, your throat, all inside your body. So this almost like a unicorn horn inside your body opened up and then healing energy all inside. So it actually healed and got rid of all of the toxins that are affecting your body. <laughs> so you can feel if you can see that going on inside your body. That is what creator energy just did. So all of the colors that are going inside are the colors that are needed to heal you. So all points. And it's all going up inside your sinuses, your nose, your throat, your lungs, your whole respiratory system. Phil, did you have anything? No, I, I do get it's like a right, it's like a competition between the higher beings. <laughs> that was, that was, um, they got ego. <laughs> they like showing off to each other. Yeah, yeah it's quite quite good to watch, but they're doing it in a, in a funny way. If you know, they're trying to find different ways, and that's why you picked up this different way. Well, then the 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 the, el the ancestors put this dome over her like this and all these these colors went all around her like rainbow colors coming down like a protective barrier around her crystal being in them they're having a competition to show different <laughs> <laughs> they're all showing up <laughs> showing up to each other yeah mm. <laughs> quite funny to watch but then you, you get the result. Yeah, everybody can't help but feel better if they're all there. Yeah. It's like a competition to show the yeah. best unique method. Yeah. <laughs> a card for her? Yeah. Strange watching them having a laugh with each other. I love it. That is quite a, an old method that you've done there. That's, that's a new one. I've never, an I've one. never seen that method mm. before. It's an ancient one, man. Is it really? It's an ancient one. Well, okay. you would know that, you old man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that one. I've, I've seen it in past uh, previous. One. Yeah. Okay, right there. Do you want that one? I'll, I'll give you both. Right. I don't know which one it is. No, both. Playfulness and new beginnings. That's a good one. So that could be linked. Perfect one. For yeah, her. So more, Perfect. more, pl more playfulness, but new beginnings. That's like the star in the tarot card, isn't it? So, <sighs> so embrace new projects, new opportunities, new friends. Probably spiritual ones. Embrace it. But it might be linked to being playful as well. That's it. <laughs> that looks like an art. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Faye Robbins. Faye still here? Goodbye. I'm here. Hey. How have you been? I've seen you went on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. We were on a long trip. The drive and everything. Yep. Long drive. 
back and forth, oh, Arizona right. to Florida, Florida, Arizona. Um, awesome. So you would you want us to do a scan and healing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is there any particular place or just no everywhere? What you say? Well, uh, my back and that's the first thing I my got. My back and my to. right heel. Yeah, yeah. first thing that um, Father brought me to was your back. Stomach problems too. Yes. Uh, allergies. Oh, Lord, yes. Yeah. Your upper yeah, neck. Yeah. Oh, I can feel that too. Ooh. This is where you say, oh gosh, somebody's a pain in the neck. <laughs> I have. Yeah, it's almost like you have a stress point in your neck and your allergies are really bad. Okay, so all of this is going to be healed today. So just sit back and relax. Your allergies are environmental. It's what they're spraying. Wow, really? Yes. You're spraying something in the fields. And plus, I took that shot too. I was wanting to know, would that affect me in any kind of way? I prayed before I had it. You took a allergy shot? Mm -hmm. the, the, shot. the shot. The vaccine? Yes. Do you want us to remove it? The toxin? Toxins from it? Oh, Lord, yes. You might feel something coming into your crown chakra. I also got that, that do you know who your star seed? You've got a very powerful star seed family. I don't. I think that's another reason why you, you've got allergies. It, it's the star seed family is allergic to what the spray is. And it's somehow it's affecting you on this line. But I'll try and remove the. Uh, Do you feel that thing? 
I know I feel like a like a wave has came has came over me. I just my body I just feel like it's inside. I picked up at Stacy's act earlier. That's why I got me Crystal Skull, which is an alien one. Oh, first time wow. I've owned it. First time I've owned it. Old it That's so. neat. Yeah. Did you, anything else, Deb? No, but. On my back and my heel. Hmm? Um. Those are those are healed, and um, the only other thing is I feel like they no, I don't see it. no. It, it, your um, your main pain was um arthritis that um your back, so so yeah. <laughs> And it should be a lot better in your hips. I know it feels better. I can feel it now. It feels good. 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 Thank you all so much. Much love. Yeah, the energy that's reversing the vaccine also helps healing as well. Uh, and that time, Deb, really? I, my being was showing off to yours. <laughs> I, feel like got a, I feel they've got a score. <laughs> Yeah, when I when, when I was trying to remove it, it looked like there was I, like you had already been doing it, so I was like only this much left. So when I, when we went to that, so. how do we know what? How do we know what is our main star seed, our heritage thing? You mean um, who you are? Yeah. I, 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 the reason I knew, uh, well, the reason I was given that was you've got an allergies and I, I had the message from Evra, which is my crystal being, that the, the, the reason why you've got the allergies is because you brought, you've got a lot of your Stasi, the Actorian, it can't handle the sprays that they're spraying. So you might have neighbors that are fine with it. But you you seem to be picking it up because of the uh, Arthurian lineage, lineage that you've got. Okay. That's so you have it. You're, you're Arcturian. Arcturian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I, I was trying to say, is it so? Is it one that I don't know? No, no, no. You, it, they were trying to tell me what it was, but because the beings are very not very English here. The, the name's different, so, it was, so I've got to like get into. I got to understand what what they're saying, and it, was, it ended up being Actorian. It's from another universe. Yeah, very very high up Actorian. Very very uh, very seriously in 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 tel uh, in uh, tech. Yeah, there they be good, you know, they, but they're on the good side, so that's fine. Well, that's yeah. good, then. Yeah, you know what I mean? Is it her? I'm feeling like she, this is her first time being human. I do, yeah, that's it's what I got before. Yeah, I think, I think, I, I think people have said you've been other beings here, but somehow I have a feeling that the Axorian was your last. Is you, you mainly Arthurian lives, so you're very rare on here. I don't think it's just your last. I think you've been a couple. It's very rare. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't you can't handle it on earth. Yeah. Okay. And you know when when I was a teenager, I was I always felt like I didn't belong with this fa my family. I don't mm -hmm. know if that was a normal thing to feel, but. It was it's, so strange that I, I wasn't connected to my brother, sister, my mom or dad. Earth itself. <laughs> you didn't belong on Earth. That's what it is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'd rather be on a drummer. Yeah. I'd rather be on a drummer at the moment. I don't want to be here. <laughs> no. But that doesn't mean I'm going. I've got to do the job. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
but you guys have answered all my questions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Card. All right, uh, you want to, you want a card, Oh, sure, sure. I've got the Oxfordian card, so. <laughs> Tell us when. Tell him when. Tell. Tell. Uh, it's hasn't come out before. Friendship. Mm. It's basically you, you. It's like replacing friends that you have with other friends. Have you got the same friends, or are you changing? Have you noticed that you you're getting your friendships are changing? I was just thinking that, yes. Mm. It, you yeah. know, even some of my family is like distance away and it just seems like it don't bother me, you know. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I think we get that, don't we, The Spiritual yeah. ones tend to be like you need family and friends and your, your, your real family are a bit distant compared yeah. to your spiritual one. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank right. you. And the final one for today, Tashina. Hey, how you guys doing? Okay. Uh, just to stand and whatever feeling is. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> is is that is that your back or is that is that your leg? Whatever. <laughs> What do you think need? <laughs> whatever I can get. <laughs> whatever you guys Just get. a scanner, healing, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through a lot, so I can take whatever I can get right now. <laughs> Where, where's the places that you need the most, or is it whatever? Uh, my chest and my stomach, my left side. My left side of my stomach, uh, having these weird headaches. Yeah, I've got, you have, have you had the V or vaccine or not? Yeah, I had the vaccine. Alright, it's probably not. Okay, I'll do some healing. Yeah. Sheena, you had the vaccine? Yes. Yeah. How did you feel that? Uh, around you my feel it? Did you feel any energy coming into your crown chakra? It's only where it starts. Yeah, a little bit around. Mm. Yeah, how's your chest? What happens is it goes in your, goes in into your crown chakra and then it starts going into your cells and just spreads around. And the side effects is the healing of the uh, chest. Do you want a scanner, Deb? I'm a bit weak. We had a well. session, we had a session um, not long ago, like just a few days. Is it just yeah. earlier this week? And I wanted to see what you got. Hmm. You might just, well, I, I was just sorting the, the big out. Oh. <laughs> You've, 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 you've caught time. But, I, but I, did not know uh, that, you, you, I didn't know yeah. that you got the vaccine. That was hmm. news to me. Have you clocked on is some attachment on it? Hmm? Have you clocked on is some on on it? Well, what what I'm what I'm what I'm feeling is that that's different from a few days ago. Is that there's some kind of negative um, entity attracted yeah. attracted by the vaccine? 
Yes. Hmm. Is it gone? Yes. Is it linked? Is no, it... I know where I know where it came from. Hmm. She knows where it came from too. Tashina. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Do you feel better? Uh. Yeah, a little better. Okay, you need to start protect. You need to start protecting yourself. You and I had a conversation the other day. Okay, I'm. Um, the the uh, vaccine is very toxic, extremely toxic. Okay. <laughs> um, and with the negative energy being pointed at you, you were like a magnet. Okay. Phil removed it. We removed it. We removed the toxins. Negative. Phil removed the negative. I don't know what it was. That was attracted to you from being pointed from the direction you left. So I don't get into the whole detail of it. From where you left, there was a negative, negative darts coming at you. And they were coming and they were being it, you were like a magnet with that vaccine. It just they just stuck at you. They stuck. So that's why you were feeling so down and you were feeling you're feeling sick from it. So yeah. now I, now you need to put up a, a wall, like a mirror around you that's pointed out. So anything yeah. comes, anything comes, it goes right back at them. So picture that mirror pointing out. Basically, the, the house that I was at uh, in Maryland. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I figured uh, I've been having dreams about my roommate uh that was staying with, with us was doing things with her third eye i tried to warn erica but she wasn't receptive so they removed me and brought me here to get away from the negative energy because it was distracting me from moving forward it's been distracting us actually so it's created this huge wall between us that we've never had before yeah so well and, you know and, and we we discussed that it's time for you to move forward not move not look back move forward i will yeah. i will that chapter's over that book is closed okay you got a card yes please Sorry. Well, i've done a card I say there's a coalition between negative energies and the V. That's what, what I've studied tonight, and I'm going to have to check that out now. Tell us when. Tell us when. They start. Yes. Uh, you've got, I'm giving you two because I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, body care and support. Body care and support. Yeah. Okay. Now the body care. Take care of your physical and spiritual being. Okay. And by that, you've got a lot of uh, spiritual friends that will support you in that conquest. So it'll help you when you need them. All you have to do is that. Okay. okay. How are you doing now, basically? Yeah. <laughs> you have the ancestors around you. Yeah. I feel them. How can you not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty powerful stuff. 